Maybe it's because of the new sandals. Or maybe just because it's National Don't Get Hit By a Motor Vehicle Day. But I feel like I've been blessed with a new start. I hope it wasn't my roommate. Where's my beer? Oh, here it is. Ow. That really hurt. It's even more painful than you think it would be. And you think it would be really painful. Uh-oh. Somebody wants to drag race, huh? How was your hospital stay? It was all right. The three weeks of physical therapy was very painful, and they probed me in every orifice. And the nurse they got to give me sponge baths, I could have sworn she had an Adam's apple. And very masculine, probing hands. She kept talking about wanting to play tummy sticks. But luckily, I was legally blind for the whole thing. Apparently, when the car hit me, I started bleeding profusely from the eyes. I'm really sorry for hitting you with my car. I'm also sorry for not visiting you for the month and a half that you were in the hospital. I couldn't even if I wanted to with this damn house arrest bracelet they got me on. Still, I, I probably wouldn't have visited. You're under house arrest? Yeah, a lot has happened in three months. That was my fifth DUI in as many weeks, so they put me in jail. It was hard to get used to at first, but eventually I got a job in the prison library. Long story short, I tunneled my way out. I was halfway to the border and they caught me doing surgery without a license. So they put me under house arrest. I've been here for the past three weeks. Have you paid the rent since I've been gone? No. But if I were to go into the whole story of why we still have a house, it would make your head explode. That landlady. She's got huge, masculine, probing hands. Well, it's good to be back to normal. What is that? This house arrest court order they got me on. Because I can't leave the house to attend AA meetings, this uh, bracelet beats the... Uh, AA handbook and Morse code to me every two hours. That seems needlessly complicated. Why don't they just mail the handbook to you? I don't know. Beats me. Probably because our mailman's a jerk. Hold on a sec. Hello? Yes, this is George. Uh-huh. Results of my P-test back, huh? Uh-huh. 80 proof? Uh-huh. Don't know how I'm still alive, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, did I pass? Nah. Uh -huh. Nah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, bye. What's up? Apparently, I'm not allowed any beer or cigarettes for a month. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. No beer and cigarettes for a month? It'll be like a walk in the park. It'll be fun. Hey, Drew. You sleeping? Yes. Sorry, I, I can't sleep. But I'm sure it's not the beer. What time is it? I don't know. I've been up for four days straight. I don't have to be up for another two hours. So if you could leave me alone, that would be awesome. Oh! Wow. I just had this really weird vision. What was it about? It was you, and you were rubbing your head and yelling, ow. You mean like this? Ow! Yeah, exactly like that. Okay. I'll let you sleep. Ow! I think I just saw the future. George, why are you repeatedly punching the couch? I don't know. Ever since I gave up beer, I've been filled with rage. Any more stupid visions of the stupid future? No. 
not since this morning. Maybe it only goes off when I touch something. Here, let me touch your arm again. Fine. Wow. That was weird. What did you see? Was it me surrounded by a harem of beautiful buxom women? Almost. It was actually you hitting yourself repeatedly in the head with the door. That's stupid! Why would I do that? I don't know why you do many things, George. You see in the future, that's stupid! Now I gotta go out and buy a pack of cigarettes. I'm going to the store! Oh my god, that's amazing! I just saw the future! Again! God, I hate Morse code! If Mr. Morse were here, I'd punch him in the face to tell him how much I hate his stupid Morse code. But I do it a series of fast and slow punches just to reiterate my point of how much I hate his stupid code. I wonder how I should use this new power I've acquired. I could use it for good, but using it for evil sounds mighty appetizing. Ah, nothing beats a good bottle of cranberry juice. Oh no, I just put cranberry juice on the couch. No one will ever know. Oh no, that stain will never come out. Hey, Drew. And I could go for a good glass of cranberry juice. Aw, oh, damn it! We're out of cranberry juice. Well, I'll just have this bottle of soy sauce. Nothing beats a good bottle of soy sauce. Oh, no. I spilled soy sauce on the couch. No one will ever know. Wow, I just changed the future. Kind of. This raises some definite and obvious ethical questions. Am I able to discern what should be changed and shouldn't? Can I judge what's good and bad? Or should I just go through my life putting right what has been put wrong? Hey, Drew. Talking to yourself again? Yeah. I'm just having a serious ethical dilemma. Oh, Drew. You and your ethical dilemmas. There, there. You know what this fire needs? More lighter fluid. Oh my god! I think I just had a vision of your death! I don't mean to sound skeptical, Drew, but that's ridiculous. You shouldn't go outside! I only get to go outside once a day for grilling purposes. I'm gonna do it. You have a really weird lawyer. I've just wasted three seconds of valuable grilling time. You know what this fire needs? More lighter fluid. Oh! Whoa. That thing almost exploded me. Ah, oh, my toast is stuck. Well, a good fork will fix that problem. Goodbye, bread. Where's all the bread? Hey, if I put these forks in the toaster, I won't have to cook food. Goodbye, forks. Where are all the forks? Man, this toaster's dirty. Time for a bath. Goodbye, toaster. Throws before hose. Hey, Drew. Where's the toaster? Ah! Goodbye, cruel toasterless world! Goodbye, gas. Hey! Someone turned off the gas! You win this round, attempted suicide. Man, this power's starting to get on my nerves. Hello, just delivering some mail. You know, I really admire you postal workers. Man, I can't believe I ordered 27 snakes off the internet. What the hell am I gonna do with all these things? Ah! Stay 
Jesus! Oh my god, they're fighting me so much! Is this what I get for being a servant to the public? Oh my god! George is gonna cover you with snake bites! Sir, I have no idea what you're talking about. Now I'm gonna deliver more mail to the good people of this city. Wait! I'm gonna blow up George and Drew's house so good. So good! Don't blow up our house! Now why would I do that? I'm just a friendly mail carrier. Blowing up houses is for psychopaths, and they have no part in the Postal Service. I've gotta stop George. George! You can't put snakes in the mailbox! Hey! I was just about to tell you about the snake plan. How did you find out about it? I can see the future, remember? No. I'm George, remember? If it doesn't directly involve me, I don't pay attention. George, do you know what you've set in motion? Hilarity? No! Both of our deaths! Unless I can do something about it. Hey, if you're heading out, could you drop off this package for me? Yeah, sure. Just promise me you won't put any snakes through the mail. I promise. I hope he listens to me. No, I can't just sit around and hope that George listens to reason. I've got to do something. When did you start smoking a pipe? That's my new thing. I ran out of cigarettes, and since I can't leave the house, I had to rummage through what I had, and all I could find was a tin of pipe tobacco. At least I think it was tobacco. Can I see that? Sure. I'm sorry. It's lung cancer. Yeah, we know. He's been dying for like six months now. Yeah, I know. I, uh, just like to say it out loud. In case someone was having a vision of us right now from the past and had a means to stop it. You know, so it'd be as clear as possible. That's kind of weird. It's standard doctor policy. That's the last time we consult the doctor from the love boat. Dude, you really should quit. This thing will kill you. All right. Remember, kids, today is National Free Beer and Cigarette Day. So come on down to the park and get as many free cold ones as you like. <laughs> I want to go outside so bad and get free beer and cigarettes. <laughs> Hello? Operator? Give me the United States Postal Service. Why isn't this working? Come on. There's half a flat beer out there. <laughs> Wait. That was the past. That's it. If I can't stop the snakes, I'll stop the mailman. That's not how you kill a zombie, you use a trench gun! What's a trench gun? It's like a 12 gauge shotgun with a bayonet on the end of it. Alright! The snakes! <laughs> run in slow motion when something's really important. Well, that was rather unpleasant. Ugh. I can't help but feel a sense of irony, being that yesterday was National Don't Be Bitten by Numerous Snakes Day. May we never forget. Huh. That mailman seemed like an all right guy. I guess everything's gonna be all right. I've got to stop that mailman.
Damn it, George, if you would only listened to me back in 2012, all of this could have been avoided. There would be no giant ants. Okay, I think I have a little time on that one, but I'd better make a note of it. Seventy-seven New York Street, Apartment D. Ha! Now I know where you live, male man. What? What was that? Dear God, I don't know if you even exist, but I swear to whatever you are, I will kill whoever you want me to for a beer. All right. If I were a mailman mad bomber, where would I hide my mailman mad bomb? Go for Drew. Hey Drew, it's George. Just calling to see what you were doing. Actually, I'm a little busy right now. I just broke into our mailman's house and I'm trying to figure out where he keeps his explosives. What, did you check in the cupboard over the stove? That's where we keep ours. No, why? What? Nothing. Hey, anything exciting happened yet? No, not yet. Hello? Bombs by delivery? I'd like to order a bomb! Yeah, so? Hey, that sounded like a vision. Let me see. Well, that was rude. What the hell are you doing here? What is your problem, man? Hey, I forgot to ask last time. Could you stop by the store on the way home and buy some milk? Kind of want to make some mac and cheese. Damn it, George! You just told him where I was! I said, what the hell are you doing here? Don't get your panties in a bunch. Just wanted some mac and cheese. Anyway, call me later and tell me how this whole thing turns out. I said, what the hell are you doing here? Look, I can explain. Explain what? That you've been stalking me all day? Wait, you knew I was stalking you? Of course I knew. You're as subtle as a horse cock on a stud ranch. Wow, that was really blunt. Well, as I am off the clock, I am not bound by the mail carrier code of conduct. Butt face. Look, I have a valid reason. I have to stop you from blowing up our house. What are you talking about? I would never do such a thing. I saw it in a vision. You were trying to get revenge on my roommate for putting all those snakes in the mail. This is like the third time George has done something like this. We're kind of used to it. Even if it is illegal. It's kind of like the passing of the seasons. So you mean to tell me you've been stalking me all day so I wouldn't blow up your house? That's right. Oh, and when I came in, I accidentally let your cat out. Uh, she ran off and I didn't really see where she went. Sorry. Mittens? She's a house cat! She can't survive out in the wilderness! She can get lupus! So, we're cool? No. <laughs> Blowing up your house sounds like a great idea! <laughs> Bombs by delivery page is missing! Ha! I got rid of it! Now you can't order your precious explosives! Ha! It's listed under explosives by delivery. Too. Damn you, yellow pages, and your vast wealth of knowledge! <laughs> ah! Yeah! ah! Empty mailbag! You know, I've done many wrongs in my life. Maybe not being able to drink is a good thing.
I'm not even mad about this ankle bracelet beeping Morse code at me every hour and a half. You know what? I think I can learn from this experience. I think I'm just going to have to accept the fact that I, I can't leave the house and I can't drink and I can't smoke. I'm just going to have to accept it. I'm just going to have to accept it. I'm just going to have to accept it. Oh, the hell with that. Goodbye, foot. Yeah, oh, yeah. You like getting chopped off, don't you? <laughs> No stopping, no stalling. I'm gonna blow this house up, or my name isn't Harvey Mailman. Just one push of this button. Look, you don't wanna do this. Yes, I do. <laughs> Very much so. But think of your reputation. Think of the children. Do you think they're still gonna see you as a hero if you do this? Hey, maybe you're right. Maybe I should do this quick before any of them can see me. You still have one more package to deliver. Hey! I said no more stalling! And you call yourself a mailman. What about neither rain, nor sleet, nor snow? Wait, it's for you. I think you should open it. What? You want me to open your mail? No one's ever asked me to. I don't know what to say. What? Snakes! <laughs> The sweet, sweet poison is killing me! Wow, that happened a lot faster than I thought it would. Hey, Drew. What's uh, going on here? Hey, how'd you get out here without your ankle bracelet beeping? Oh, this thing? It was just duct taped on. So does this uh, mailman dead on our front lawn mean that this whole crazy mailman want to blow up our house thing is over? Pretty much. Hey. Why did you mail one of those snakes to me? Ah, well, I was in kind of an angry place when I did it. And ever since Nipsey Russell died, you've moved up to number 27 on my enemies list. Kind of got uh, a little over-anxious once you put cilantro in with the rice on burrito night. Hmm. Well, no harm done. Yeah. Hey, while I'm out here, I think there's half a cigarette butt with my name on it. Here it is. Yep. Yep. I almost got it. It, it, oh, it, that, there it is. <laughs> How did that happen? I have no idea. Well, we can live without a house. George, I think you just cycled back. Whatever. Well, so ends another chapter in the life of the Edwin J. Hill Social Club. Yep. And we did it all before National Massive Heart Attack Day. Oh, wait. I think that's today. It's getting so hard to keep track of these things. Why didn't anyone warn me? Damn you! Damn you, giant ants! Damn you, all the giant ant hell! Wait, look! You still have one more package to deliver. <laughs> what if I was naked? All the better. <laughs> Betty won't stop messing in a modern rock and she hates a beat. So good! Alright, say the second line like you almost get a sexual release from it. <laughs> That's the best directing ever. Your feet need to be kicking a little because you got a you got a snake on your face. Like this? Yeah. Uh, that looks kind of dumb. So never mind. Go. Hey, there's no gas, and there's a puppy. Oh, it's your puppy. It's your boy. You kisses. Give me kisses. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, gas. <laughs> Hello, gas.
Put your pants back on.